Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. The topic of state merger has been ongoing for the last year, being a hot and widely discussed topic within the state of survival community. To date, we have had two rounds of state mergers, then recently we received news from the developers that, quote, they tested state mergers and kept track of users' response to the follow-up experience. However, our investigation revealed that the state merger fell short of players' expectations. In today's video, I'm going to dive deeper into the pros and cons of state merger from what I heard from other survivors. Separately, I also want to share some information about state migration following my research into another FunPlus title, Guns of Glory. If you like my videos, please do smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. However before that, I would like to ask you. Are you new to State of Survival? Or are you an old state player who is looking to start over in a new state? Would you like to save up to 40% or more from your in-game bundle purchases? Then let me introduce you to the Huawei App Gallery. From July the 1st to July the 14th, your first three purchases, you will receive 20% cashback in Huawei points. Any purchases, after that you will receive 10% cashback. In addition to this, if you join Huawei App Gallery today using the link in the description below, there is a special one-time gift code just for you. Not only this, but as you spend on your in-game bundles, you will be earning Huawei Loyalty Rewards points and VIP points. One Huawei points is equivalent to $1 of your local region. I mean the benefits are just insane. All these can be redeemable for in-game coupons, and in the long run you can be saving a heck of a lot of monies. To redeem your special one-time gift code, join the Balkans App Gallery Club Discord, which I have included in the description below, and ask for Andia. Please note that this offer is specific to the following Balkan countries. So what are you waiting for? Check out their link in the description below and start saving today. In the last two weeks, there has been a few videos released in regards to the absence of state merger, which consequently led to an official announcement on the 29th of June that state mergers are back on the table. So, many survivors have been wondering, what's the delay? There has been many people that have left the game because they are fed up of waiting, and many more states will continue to lose players as time goes on. One way to look at state mergers is that it is a forced marriage between two people. There is a 50% chance this new marriage will work out, and there is a 50% chance that it will lead to a quick divorce. These survivors do believe that state mergers will bring more activity into their states. There will be types of players including free-to-play players for events such as capital and state versus state, with there being more joiners thus also mean improved healing. This in turn motivates the mid-level to high spenders in formerly dead states to be more active building a symbiotic relationship for both the free-to-play and the pay-to-play players. Also, state mergers brings new people together, allows new alliances to be established. It is a way to reset age-old practice, allowing new relationships to be built. Finally, let's not forget some survivors do like the competitive nature of the game, thus when things get stale, things get boring, there is little to no motivation to improve. This leads to stagnation in the wider state, without there being a state merger. However, on the flip side, some survivors has been exposed to some brutal reality of human nature, at its worst. When one state was once peaceful, got merged into another war raging state, havoc was unleashed in the newly merged state. The two top alliances from the old states joined up forces and went rampaging throughout the newly merged state. You need to be bubbled 24 hours a day and 7 days a week, otherwise you will log in to zero troops and zero resources. These dominant group end up dominating all bunkers, all facilities, and capital. Survivors call these dominant and warmongering group as bullies, egoistic heavy spenders, which ultimately end up killing the newly merged states. Most free-to-play and low spenders end up quitting, and within a few months, even the newly merged state needs another merger. In addition to this, where previously mid to high spenders were able to compete in state-wide events, winning a few HQ skins or ranking in the top three, the competition in the newly merged state is going to be intense thus leading to less opportunities for the wider group of survivors to win or rank high in events. This in turn, lower the chances of free-to-play players as the new cohort of players are a lot larger. Therefore, there is a huge shock to many people's thoughts. Whilst they were once able to rank well, grab a few MIGO HQ skins or two, now they cannot even get into the top 1000. This in turn, demotivated them and ultimately they end up quitting the state or the game. 
Separately, Katsila has added more context from a business point of view, why state merger has also been a failure to date. I've added the link to his video in the description below to give survivors another perspective. So, with the above information, State of Survival has decided that the current state merger is unsustainable in its current form, thus are working on state merger version 2.0. Quote the developers need time to perfect features and conduct subsequent stability tests in order to provide players with a better experience, as well as satisfying players' need in older states. I bet you are all wondering, so when will state merger be, I will put my bananas on the line, it will not be for another three months at least. Then, I'm sure you are also wondering, what would state merger version 2.0 look like? This brings me to another game within the Funplus mobile gaming family, Guns of Glory. State migration has taken place in Guns and Glory since early 2022. Whilst state merger was a forced marriage between two people, state migration is a marriage of choice between two people. In stage merger, the developer decides that these two states will merge and you will have no say in the matter. Now, the reference to state migration that I will be talking here is based on my research on the Guns of Glory title, and I do not know whether the state of survival developers are working towards something similar or otherwise. Meanwhile in state migration, the developer set a range of states that an individual player can transfer into, and if the player does not like it, that survivor can return to his or her old state within a selected window. In the Guns of Glory state migration, the state migration took place during a specific window of opportunity. Once this window closes, players were no longer allowed to migrate in or back to their old states. The developers decided the range of states that the players were able to migrate to, However, whilst state merger, there was no cost to survivors, state migration had a cost to the top 100 ranked players in Guns of Glory to migrate, with the cost for the rank 1 player to be nearly $2,000. In addition to this, there were also a number of limits set forth. This limited the migration into another state at a maximum of 205 players. There were also limits set for players of different rank. Imagine, for state of survival, where only 5 whales, 50 high spenders and 150 of the rest were allowed to transfer into the new state. Separately, there was an application process, where you have to make sure you have applied for the state migration into the state of your choice by the deadline. Finally, there was also a few other caveats set in place, where for example, you had 3 days to move back to your old state, if you are not enjoying the new state, with the premise that you didn't recon or attack anyone in the new state that you migrated into in the first three days. Unfortunately, the feedback from Guns of Glory state migration has not been great either. There has been similar issues again down to human nature, where group of players combine to join a new state, creating mega alliances with the objective to burn the new state. Separately, due to the absence of a forced merger, when rally leaders, high spenders or max players left the old state, the competitive nature of the old state which they left also died, since not all the players migrated. Therefore, when it comes to merger 2.0, knowing what I've talked with other survivors, knowing what I've researched with state migration and guns of glory, knowing the good, the bad and the ugly. I can only hope that state merger 2.0 will be a combination of state merger and state migration with some significant increased level of protection given to the survivors in the new states to discourage the massacre of a friendly and stable ecosystem by scrupulous players. Separately, the amount of ranking rewards should also be increased to manage players' expectation and encourage players to continue to participate. Finally, one can only hope the criteria and price to migrate will be fair to all players but at the same time discourage certain max whales from migration from state to state just to create problems because we all know one thing's for sure. It is impossible to zero a max player in state of survival. Well that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.